Din from Western High School asks, how will AI impact and change the educational technology landscape? Well, sure. Education, like every sector of the economy, every facet of our world is being impacted by AI to some degree, some faster than others. But education is very, very important because we need to prepare a new generation of students for this new economy where artificial intelligence will play a role in so many jobs. The first thing you think about is technology, right? That I'll need to know AI because I want to go into technology, but actually AI will affect every career. Whether you're going into medicine, or you're going into art, whether you're going to be a designer of cars, whether you're going to be uh, in construction and engineering of buildings, it doesn't matter the field, it doesn't matter if you're going to be a professor. Every field of study will be impacted by these large-scale computers running these large-scale models that enable us to both simulate and scale human intelligence at a new level. So I think AI will have a very significant impact on the educational technology sector as it starts to become foundational to education itself. Landon from Magnolia High School asks, what new jobs and careers will emerge because of AI and how can education prepare for this shift? Yeah, I think it's a great question because, you know, look at my, I, look, I think of myself when I hear that question, right? I went to university, Cornell University, uh, well, too many years ago, I don't want to say, but I studied industrial and labor relations, okay? Not computer science. Then I went to law school and I studied intellectual property law, not computer science. And then I went and became a consultant and worked in the consulting industry for many years, uh, advising on things like healthcare technology and other topics. But I didn't discover artificial intelligence as a topic until many years later in my life. And so, you know, AI is not just for math wizards and engineers and data scientists. As much as we need them, and if you're a natural at those skills and you want to pursue that and be those, be part of that legion of geniuses that build AI, that's great. But for many of us who are not engineers or not scientists, there's, there's going to be, there's an incredible list of other careers and other kinds of non-technical jobs. People that understand not just how to build the applications, but the implications of those applications, right? And you can be on the business side, you could be uh, developing the strategies and, and selling those tools. You can be on the, 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 uh, the legal side, dealing with the policy and the governance and the, and the regulation around those tools. And, 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 many, and there's many, many versions of that. So AI is not just for, for engineers, as much as we need engineers. AI is really gonna impact all the careers and whether you become an accountant or a lawyer or a teacher or a nurse, you will need to use AI eventually in your job and people that, that understand how to do that well will do better than other people in that job. And I'll, I'll end on this one point, which is that you know most people, in fact, very few people will ever lose their job because of AI, but they may lose their job to someone who uses AI better than they do. So it's a tool like everything else and we'll all need to learn about it. Andres from Brooklyn Junior High School asks, Will AI replace human jobs and what does this mean for future careers? You have to understand that AI is like a form of automation, right? And you can't automate a whole job. You actually, really the way it works is you automate individual tasks. And if you look at a job, any job that it is, and you break it down, jobs you know, consist of dozens to hundreds of tasks. And any given job, some of those tasks will be automatable. But that's not a bad thing. Right? In many times, that's going to free you up from things that you didn't want to do anyway. Right? Nurses spend a lot of time at the end of their day filling out paperwork and filling in patient charts and summarizing notes and doing things that prevent them from seeing other patients. So if AI can offload that part of their job and help them do that work, that's a good thing. Right? So you know, I think you have to look at it not so much as a threat to work as much as an opportunity to reinvent work. And I think that's where you're gonna see a lot, of, a lot of change. Some jobs will definitely go away over time, but that happens over the last 100 years. We used to have people, operators, sitting in rooms that would plug little cords into holes in order to connect your call. You know, you'd call, hey, connect me to this number, and a human would do that. You know, in fact, I, it wasn't it, during my childhood, you know, if you wanted to look up a phone number, you would call an operator and say, I'm looking for a phone number for someone, right? Today, that would sound crazy, right? Because you wouldn't want to think about how inefficient that is. So the reinvention of work and, and efficiency and all these different things, these are very natural transitions in the workplace. And it's very important that, that young people today, whether they're in fifth grade or 12th grade or sophomore in college, become familiar with these technologies, understand their limitations, understand how to use them responsibly, and think about how they can enable them to be more successful in life.